What's up, world of Facebook? Uh, just going for a little stroll in the park. I wanted to say hi and see how everybody was doing. Uh, who we got here? What in the world is going on here? Whoa, whoa. Evening, Mayor. Evening. How are you? Good. We're out here in front of the uh, city center. What we got going on? It is the soft opening. The soft opening? What do you mean? That means that they're doing a trial run on putting on a movie tonight. Let's check it out. Gary, you good with that? I'm good with that. Let's roll. I'll get the door for you, Doug. Oh, you don't need to do that. I mean, you're a heck of a guy. You are a heck of a guy. Thanks, team. <laughs> anyway. Against me, don't hold it against me, please. <laughs> um, we just wanted to get up, and this is not obviously the uh, the formal opening. This is what they call a soft opening, and this gives them, being Wolf Theaters, the opportunity to test out how well the movie theater is going to run and, and how things will move forward. For us as the city, um, you guys are here because, in some form or another, you were a critical component. I'm making this happen. Um, I can tell you looking out in the crowd, I can see Joe Rates, I can see Tim McCord, um, I know Dave Payne was invited, I see some members of, of families that are Masons, and if it weren't for all of those people being involved, we would not be here today because they kept a vision of about 20 years alive, uh, which is a, is a great thing. Something that's happening tonight that hasn't happened in a long time is there is a generation of people that will no go, now go to the Princess Theater because there's been a gap of people who have, have never gone to the Princess Theater. So that's kind of a neat new thing. Uh, I want to make sure that I thank the city employees of Rushville, whether it be the utilities, the street department, the parks department, every single one of them has had a part in making this thing a reality. Um, so I want to make sure we thank them. We want to thank our neighbors. I see the pharmacy here, uh, Radio Shack, those people who this project monsters, uh, who this project is can be an inconvenience for a while, and we know it. Um, want to thank our sponsors. I know the foundation is out here, um, but some of the sponsors who have played a big role in continuing to, to, to come along with us to give us confidence to finish this. Um, and obviously the gentleman next to me, his wife, his son, his grandson, I think these people might be related too, uh, but the Reiner family, they have been a excellent <laughs> uh, I would be remiss if I didn't thank my family because they deal with, um, they put in with the inconvenience of me, uh, sometimes cooking up these visions and then they kind of go through the ebb and flows with me of, of when they're going good or when they're not going good. So thank you to them. Um, just so everybody knows, tomorrow the theater will open and there will be movies at 1, 4, and 7. And Doug has told me to tell everyone to go out and check the website, Facebook, their Facebook site. Facebook site until they get the website up and running and that will be the best way to know what well, movies are on, I think, tomorrow. At one is Mary Poppins, four is Aquaman, and seven is Bumblebee, just so you know. That is, just so you know, that is the really cool thing. 
this is Wolf Theater's 11th screen. So to us, we think of it as a completely different theater, but to Hollywood, it is just their 11th screen, and that allows us. Today, we sat anxiously as we watched a movie download on fiber, and we watched it tick, so making sure that it got here before you guys were here to watch it. So, like 90 minutes. Yeah, just like 90 minutes. <laughs> it's only been on for about 10 minutes. And Doug is very optimistic, and I think it starts to tell my age and his age we weren't as optimistic. <laughs> um, so that's it. So anyway, thank you guys all. Um, I had a, a really a special thank you to Brian Sheehan. Unfortunately, sometimes parenthood um, comes in and you get the tug of war. Brian's son has a basketball game. So he had to go, not really have to, but he wanted to go watch his son play. So here's the guy who has kind of babysat this project for me for the last probably three years. Uh, and then tonight, which was his night, and Brian would be up here doing cartwheels and jumping up and down, <laughs> screaming and yelling, and I'll do the best I can, but this is about it. Um, but unfortunately, Brian is at the ball game. He's watching it, so he doesn't get to enjoy it. So I'm sure that he'll be here tomorrow. Uh, I'm sure he will become a nuisance to the Rain of Rain family, uh, and I know that he is the one who will be he'll be putting together the formal ribbon cutting and dedication of this and the city center, and that should happen probably in January, February, just so you know. Um, there's the fire marshal, so let's not get out of line. <laughs> Um, so anyway, no, we're not done yet. Um, I wanted to turn it over to Mr. Reiner. This is Bob Senior, and say anything you'd like to say. Yes, we. Uh, as I look around, and some of these uh, back in the '80s, I was involved in Rush County and uh, served deer farms. So that's how we got to know a lot of this. Then I moved back to Indianapolis because that's where we have our businesses. And over the years, we've watched this theater, we watched Shelbyville, and one screen movie theater just does not make it anymore because of the first round you. All you kids sitting here, the older ones, especially some of these drive and road. If you'll drive down Annapolis to see a first run. You won't wait until next week to go here and come. But because we run it with Wolf, and that's why we really need the name Wolf to be known here. We're allowed to show first runs here, but we don't need to keep them for six weeks. We can show it here, take it back and go. So next week, yeah, there's going to be another one here. So we're going to try to change at least every 10 days and have new movies here because otherwise we, we can't survive in six weeks. But the mayor, I would say, is probably the number one person that got me involved in what they have did for us as operators. That have been very great. We would not be here if it hadn't been for the mayor, uh, simply because there was things that he had to do for us that just made it way too expensive for us <coughs> to come in and try to do a, a movie theater in the town that a lot of these people at Greensburg tonight, he wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> so we are, but we're hoping that Con Connorsville will be that way. People down towards Brookville will come here, uh, and maybe some of the people on 52, instead of going into Indianapolis on the east side, that's a pretty tough area. So we, we, we hope they know we're here now and they'll come here. But as, as that, we, we tried to make this back as close as we could to the theater. It's very hard because of the modern stuff. But, uh, these two things here on the corner, my son. I have nothing to do with it. They'd be out in the alley. <laughs> <laughs> that's the old equipment um, that run the theaters back then. That's where that's what run your movies. But uh, they were here, and also the sign there on the back you'll see as you go out. Uh, I guess the original owners of it had another movie of uh, two houses, one in another town. But that probably goes back in the, <coughs> the late. <coughs> We just hope this works and uh, <laughs> some of you should die that you see something and you see something that you just want to make a note, give it to any one of the girls or boys that's working, if there's something that needs corrected or whatever, you see something like that. So, 
I'll give it to my grandson, because Dad will be the one. He will be here the whole time, not Grandpa. <laughs> Thank you very much. Really.